Yes, my people, it is your boy VRD, and we are back for another commentator drive. Today's commentator drive is going to be on the slightly shorter side. We're going to be taking a I'm not actually sure what train it's going to be. It's either going to be an 8 carriage class 375 or an 8 carriage class 465. We're going to be taking that between Faversham and Rochester. On our journey, we're going to be calling that Sittingbourne, Raynham, Gillingham, Chatham and finally Rochester. So it's quite a short journey. I'd say about 30, between 30 and 40 minutes of driving time. So yeah, we're just down here at Faversham Platform 2, waiting for our train to arrive. Still got a bit of time, so I'm going to edit down the video and I will catch you guys in a bit. Oh gosh, the train's here. All right. <laughs> I was on Snapchat. Um, Yes, it's a Class 465, which I'm quite happy about because I haven't demonstrated this train that much on my channel. So we're going to head up to the front end, enter the front cab sit in the driver's seat to take command of the service i'm now going to begin by wait hold on okay yeah i'm now going to begin by turning the tpws driver safety device and vigilance isolation switches into the vertical normal positions i'm now going to insert the master key move the fnr switch into the neutral position and acknowledge the aws self-test sequence just like so. I'm now going to immediately open the passenger doors on the left hand side because I'm sure the passengers are stressing out right now because the train stopped and it's taken a good 30 seconds for the doors to open. <laughs> now I'm going to turn the tower light switch into the off position and the headlight switch is currently in the day running position which is the correct configuration for the current um the current what's the word the current conditions that's not even the word i was looking for but conditions will do now i'm gonna pop outside and ensure that the headlights are being displayed correctly which they are brighter headlight is shining from the non-driver's side and the not so bright led star light is driving from the is shining from the driver's side which is the day running configuration now i'm gonna return to the cab we are approaching our scheduled departure time um, closing the cab door let's just have a look at our cooling pattern Sittingbourne, Raynham, Gillingham, Chatham, Rochester so wait what time are we doing at Rochester? 12.51 so yeah it's a 30 minute drive okay then let's do this this train is not fitted with CCTV monitors so we're gonna have to be doing some old school look back dispatch so I'm just looking back along the train now no one is boarding i am checking the signal aspect it is green pressing the door close button door interlock light has illuminated so taking a final look back along the train ensuring that no one is stuck in the doors a final glance of the signal as well it is still green resetting the driver amanda appliance what I'm going to do now is move the FNR switch into the forward position and I'm going to test the hill start button. So I'm holding in the holding in the hill start button, moving the power brake controller into the off position. And with the hill start button still held in, we should see a reading of one bar on the brake cylinder gauge. I'm now going to select a notch one of power, wait for about a second and release the hill start button. and our train should begin to roll away and the brake cylinder gauge reading should fall to zero. I'm gonna now finally look back along the platform a final time just to ensure that we're not dragging anyone along with us. Closing the window, I'm gonna increase the power to notch two. We are currently driving in the leaf full season so I'm being a bit gentle on the acceleration here. I'm gonna up that to notch three. And finally, power notch 4 at about 30 miles an hour. Speed limit is currently 60 miles an hour departing from Faversham Platform 2.
and I forgot to do the running brake test, which was very bad of me, so I'm gonna do that now. I should have done that at 30 miles an hour, but just quickly applying brake step two, observing the speed fall by 10 miles an hour and releasing the brakes. And once the brake cylinder gauge reading falls back to zero, I can reapply the power. Speed limit is now 75 miles an hour. Next station is Sittingbourne, which is, let me try and guess, I'd say about six miles from here maybe. Let's have a look. 6.4 miles, yes. Geography is on point. Just sounding the horn there because we did pass a whistle board. And we have another whistle board coming up now. Now that we're up to 70 miles an hour, I'm gonna begin reducing the power to prevent us from accidentally exceeding 75. I've gone down to power notch two. We are currently climbing, but we're going to hit the summit of that climb. What about now actually? So I'm gonna shut off the power and our speed should begin to roll up towards 75. Now the speed limit is actually gonna to increase to 90 miles an hour, but because we are in a class 465, we are not permitted to exceed 75 miles an hour. Maximum speed in a class 465 is 75 miles an hour, as the red line on this speedometer clearly states. So yeah, we're not gonna do anything. Here's the commencement of the 90. Oh no, it goes up to 85, beg your pardon. Then shortly afterwards, it goes up to 90. So yeah, we're not going to exceed 75 miles an hour here. I might have to actually tap on the brakes momentarily because it seems that gravity is bringing us... Uh, actually, no, it should be alright. It looked like gravity was going to bring us above 75, but I think the momentum's starting to die off a bit. Just acknowledging the vigilance device there. Speed limit is about to go up to 90 miles an hour, but again, we are not going to accelerate up to that speed. We are remaining at 75 miles an hour. another whistle board coming up and this is Tenham station that we are currently passing through we are not scheduled to stop here Another whistle board coming up. And I've just been in the off position of the PBC for quite a while now, and yeah, we seem to be balanced out at 75 quite well, but we are now entering an upward gradient, so I'm gonna apply a bit of power you can see our speed was starting to fall down to 70 there so yeah i'm just going in i've gone into power notch 2 that should maintain 75 speed limit is shortly going to reduce down to 85 miles an hour and then it goes back up to 90 miles an hour shortly after that but that's not going to affect us so yeah again just maintaining 75 miles an hour i've gone down to power notch 1 because we were getting close to 75 miles an hour again And not far from here, I'm going to get the brakes in for Sittingbourne Station. So 
So this signal coming up, if I was in A class 395 Javelin or a 375 Electro Star, I'd probably get a break step one application in around there. But because the class 465 network has quite good brakes, and we are traveling at 75 miles an hour as well, I'm gonna delay my brake application a bit. So I say shortly after passing underneath that bridge, I'm gonna, I've obviously made a brake step one application. The brakes on this train are ridiculously sharp, so I'm probably gonna need to momentarily release the brakes as we get closer to the station, but we'll see what happens. Aiming for an entry speed of 30 miles an hour, into the platform at Sittingbourne down to 40 miles an hour 35 yeah I'm gonna release the brakes look at that <laughs> look how far out we are and we're already down to 30 miles an hour this this train does not mess about it's very very responsive and as we enter the platform I'm gonna go back into brake step one Stopping position for eight carriage trains here at Sittingbourne Station in the London direction is at just beyond this footbridge coming up. So I've released the brakes again momentarily. Gonna go back into brake step one now. Gonna up that to brake step two momentarily. Back down to brake step one as we get closer to the stopping position. Up that to brake step two and back down to brake step one for the stop. And we've stopped with the stop board in the window there, which is what you want to be aiming to do. Brake step, hold on. Brake step three, F and R switch into neutral and we have a dual release on the right. Yeah guys, I seem to not know my left and right. It's, it's crazy, it's crazy. I'm gonna open the window and look back along the platform because we don't have any CCTV monitors fitted. Right, we're running about a minute late. I'm not sure how that happened. Actually, I think it's because we took a bit of time to get going out of Faversham. But we have a green signal. I'm looking back along the platform, making sure that no one's currently boarding. Pressing the door close button. Doors have closed. The door into look like illuminated. Final glance at the signal. F and R switch into forward and we don't need to use the whole start button this time so releasing the brakes power notch one as that brake cylinder gauge reading gets below one bar fan will look back along the platform ensuring that the brake cylinder gauge reading is at zero up to power notch two gonna close the window notch three And finally, full power or power notch four, whatever you want to call it, it does not matter. Next station is Raynham. And if I had to guess, I'd say that's about, about maybe seven or eight miles from here. But I have to pick one. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say seven miles. Oh, okay. <laughs> Speed limit is currently 90 miles an hour, but again, we cannot exceed 75 miles an hour because of the model of train that we're driving. So we're up to 72 and a half miles an hour, reducing the power to notch two. And that is balancing us out at 75 quite well. We are currently climbing, but the speed limit is shortly gonna reduce down to 70 miles an hour. So I've shut off the power to let the momentum of our train die off. You can see our speed is beginning to fall towards 70. And we're down to 70 miles an hour just in time for the commencement of the speed limit. So I've now gone back into power notch one just to maintain 70 miles an hour. We're still climbing, but we're gonna hit the summit of this climb just after this left-hand bend coming up. We 
we passed a warning board for a turnout speed of 40 miles an hour but we're not taking the turnout we're going to be continuing straight on the track that we're currently on so we don't need to worry about that I'm just still in power notch one our speed is falling a bit towards 65 miles an hour but what I'm actually going to do is shut off the power as we pass over the summit of this climb here because we're going to enter a very steep downward gradient so that should cause our speed to roll back up to 70 miles an hour I have a feeling we're actually going to exceed 70 miles an hour very slightly but speed limit is shortly going to be going back up to 75 so it shouldn't be too much of an issue so there's that turnout that I was talking about with the 40 mile an hour speed limit this is Newington station and we've rolled back up to 70 miles an hour and the speed limit is now increasing to 75 miles an hour so yeah we're just about to exceed 70 luckily we didn't I've now gone back into power notch 2 we're now we've now hit the bottom of that downward gradient and I'd say we're on a very shallow upward gradient now where it is actually it's, it's fairly level terrain to be honest I want to call it an upward gradient so we got up to 75 I've shut off the power there we're not too far out from random station now and as our speed falls down towards 70 I'll just apply a bit of power to creep back up towards 75 back up to 75 miles an hour so I've once again shut off the power and we're not too far out from random station we're approaching the place where I put the brakes in so I'm not gonna apply any more power I'm gonna let the momentum of the train start to die off a bit so this bridge coming up here this is where I would get a brake step one application in or a minimal brake application if I was in a class 395 or 375 but because we're in a class 465 network car, uh, I'm going to make my break step one application about now as we pass over that trailing point there. Is that a trailing point or a facing point? I always get them confused. I think that was a trailing point. And I left the break in a bit too late there. So I'm, I've gone up into break step two. An entry speed of 40 miles an hour into the platform which is a bit on the faster side but we are an eight carriage train so we should be all right just remaining in brake step two eight carriage stopping position is about midway along the platform you can see it coming up now so i momentarily went that down to brake step one back up to brake step two and back down to brake step one for the stop overshot the stop mark very slightly but we're still stopped in roughly the right place, so it doesn't matter. Up to brake step three, now that we're at a stand, FNR switch into neutral, and we have a door release on the left. And we are more or less on time. We're about a minute late, I guess. Right, green signal, opening the window, looking back along the platform, pressing the door close button. Sorry guys, too slow. Get the next one. Alright, doors have closed. Door into the light illuminated. Final glance at the signal. Still green. FNR switch into forward, releasing the brakes. Power notch one. Looking back along the platform there. No one's being dragged along. Closing the window. Power notch two. Notch three. Again, just being gentle on the acceleration because I don't want to get into any wheel slip. And up to power notch four. Speed limit is 90 miles an hour. It went up to 90 miles an hour just before we entered Raynham Station. 
but again we are a class 465 networker so we are not to exceed 75 miles an hour there's a Thameslink class 700 over there waiting to enter platform 0 we were obviously crossing over his path so that's why he had to stop at that signal and wait for us to become clear I say he, he or she, they and we're up to 72 and a half miles an hour so reducing the power down to power notch 2 speed limit's going to be decreasing to 60 miles an hour not too far from here up to 75 miles an hour so I've shut off the power acknowledging an AWS alert regarding the warning board for the upcoming 60 mile an hour speed limit so we went round the left hand bend we got a long straight section the signal, the first signal of the long straight section, the 60 mile an hour speed limit commences just after that signal. So I've made a brake step one application to bring us down to 60 miles an hour. We're now down to 60 miles an hour, so I've released the brakes. You can see we just passed the 60 board there. Acknowledging another AWS alert regarding another warning board telling us that as a passenger train we can continue at 60 miles an hour but a freight train would need to expect a reduction in the speed limit down to 35 miles an hour. And I'm going to make a brake step one application around now shortly before passing over this level crossing here to begin slowing down for Gillingham station it's quite a long platform here at Gillingham station and the stopping position is at the end of the platform so we can get away with a slightly higher entry speed just maintaining a brake step one application seems to be bringing us bringing us down nicely Gonna up that to break step two as we get closer to the end of the platform. Reducing that down to break step one. Back up to break step two momentarily. Down to break step one, releasing, creeping up to the stopping position here. Up to break step one to come to a stand. Perfect. Break step three, neutral, and we have a dual release on the left. Now we're back on time. Right, we are within 30 seconds of our scheduled departure time, so we have a green signal, opening the window, looking back along the platform, pressing the door close button. Doors have closed, door interlock light is illuminated, final glance at the signal, still green, selecting forward on the FNR switch, releasing the brakes, waiting for the brake cylinder gauge reading to come down, power notch one, Final look back along the platform as we begin moving off. Shutting the window, power notch two. Power notch three. And finally power notch four. And we just passed a speed board. Um, the speed board telling freight trains to do 35 miles an hour but as a passenger train we can continue at 60 miles an hour although that being said we just passed a warning board regarding a speed reduction down to 30 miles an hour and between here and the speed reduction down to 30 miles an hour there's a speed reduction down to 50 miles an hour so we got up to 60 miles an hour I've shut off the power and Hmm. So about as we get towards the end of the tunnel, I'm going to make a break step one application to bring us down to 50 miles an hour. Now, if I was driving a 
class 395 javelin or a 375 electro star i've released the brakes by the way because we got down to 50 miles an hour and we're now in the 50 mile an hour speed limit so if i was driving a 395 javelin or a 375 electro star i'd be able to remain in brake step one and that would bring me down for the 30 mile an hour speed limit bang on but because the class 465 has sharper brakes i've had to release the brakes momentarily and then apply them afterwards so you can see i've applied the brakes now and that has brought me down for the 30 mile an hour speed limit bang on releasing the brakes as we got down to 28 miles an hour and the reason i did that is because we're currently on a downward gradient so by decelerating down to 28 miles an hour it gives gravity a bit of room to bring us back up to 30 miles an hour and we are now approaching Chatham station stop in position for eight carriage trains at Chatham station in the London direction or well, in both directions to be honest is about three quarters of the way along the platform so I've made a brake step one application on entry into the station now releasing that momentarily back into brake step one you can see the stopping position coming up now releasing again momentarily back up to brake step one stopping with the stop mark and the cctv monitors in the window perfect brake step three neutral door release on the left right we are at our scheduled departure time and because we have cctv monitors we don't actually have to open the window and look back along the platform this time so checking the signal green looking at the cctv monitors pressing the door close button door interlock light has illuminated final glance at the cctv monitors and the signal there F and R switch into forward, releasing the brakes, power notch one, and just looking at the CCTV monitors as we as we begin moving off up to power notch two. And I'm gonna remain in power notch two until we reach 25 miles an hour. And then I'm gonna shut off the power at 25 miles an hour. The reason I'm doing that is because speed limit is 30 miles an hour but we're on a we're on fairly level terrain at the moment but as we exit this tunnel it's going to become a fairly steep downward gradient into rochester station so yeah you can see i've shut off the power at 25 and our speed is still rolling up towards 30. so yeah by shutting off the power at 25 you're giving yourself a bit of room to roll up towards 30. Once we get up to 30, I'm going to use a burst of brake step one to reduce our speed down to 25 miles an hour. And we passed a double yellow signal just after exiting that tunnel. That tells us that we've been cleared into Rochester station, but we have a red signal at the end of the platform. So we got up to 30 miles an hour. I've used a burst of brake step one to bring us down to 25 miles an hour. Once down to 25 miles an hour, I've released the brakes and our speed should roll back up to 30 miles an hour again. But by the time it does so, we should, we should be at Rochester station more or less. Got a single yellow signal there that we just passed telling us that we have a We've been cleared into Rochester station, but we have a red signal at... <coughs> whew, I ran out of breath. We have a red signal at the end of the platform. <laughs> so we just about got up to 30 miles an hour as we entered Rochester station. So I've made a brake step one application, decelerated down to 20 miles an hour for the AWS magnet associated with the red signal at the end of the platform. You can see the banner repeater display just there to the left in the horizontal position telling us that the signal is displaying a red aspect and you can now see the red signal itself another brake step point application to reduce our speed down for the stop mark and that actually seems to be doing the job fairly well 
Yep, that was perfect. <laughs> right, at a stand, brake step three, neutral, um, setting the driver around the plants because we have a red signal and we have a door release on the left. Right, and that is the end of our journey. Our official intelligence will be taken over from here. So turning on the tow light switch, turning off the headlight switch. In fact, no, turning off the tow light switch, turning the headlight switch back on. Um, FNR switch into the off position, removing the master key. TPWS driver safety device and vigilance isolation switches. Hold on. Yep, turning those three switches into the horizontal isolated positions, leaving the cab. And yep, that is it. I'd like to thank you guys for taking the time to watch this commentated drive. Constructive feedback and criticism is more than welcome in the comment section below and is highly appreciated. If you'd like to further support the channel, please consider liking and subscribing. I will catch you guys in the next one. Love.